today on the Skid Factory, we're at Garrett Motion, Brisbane Jamboree. Let's check out some cars. Welcome back to the Skid Factory. We're at the 2023 Garrett Motion Brisbane Jamboree. This is a drag racing event, but it's also a big car show. And it's also been around for a very long time. I used to come to these events in the 90s, and it was basically the best day of the year for a, a car enthusiast like myself. And I was into small cars, Dados, Mazdas, that sort of thing. And they weren't very well represented back in the day for, for car events, and the Jamboree was the big deal and it's still going strong it has changed a little bit over the years there's now other types of race car here they slowly allowed six cylinders and v8s to to race it's a pretty big deal now we've got we've got pro mods and that sort of thing on the track so there's a bit of bit of something for everyone we're currently standing in the uh in the show area and um this is the place that does actually attract the sort of og uh, old school four cylinder and rotary stuff. So um, there's a fair bit to look at here. Let's go and have a look around. I'm definitely a fan of the old Celica. This is a TA22, I think, or three. Um, it's actually powered by the old uh, 2T engine still. It may be a 3T, which is a 1.8 litre version, but uh, who's counting? And it's got twin Weber carburetors on it, which is pretty much the done thing back in the day. It's beautifully presented. And uh, I think we're actually gonna have a, uh, an RA23 on the show as a project in the coming future. So stay tuned for that one. As I mentioned, this is kind of the spiritual home of the small car and it's particularly the rotaries. Uh, there's a lot of rotaries here in the, uh, the show area. And um, this is a good example. This is a series two RX-7. I think it's built to look like a Moffat RX-7, although those flares, I don't think they had bolt holes in those flares originally, but these were raced in Bathurst, similar to this back in uh, the early 80s and were pretty successful on account of their handling characteristics. Um, probably not so much the rotary reliability, but uh, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a joke for another day. Um, this particular one's got a 13B turbo in it, which is a pretty good combo and it looks like it's been set up as a circuit racing car, so it's got the old retro stripes on it which are the fashion at the moment and they look pretty damn good we just ran into the crew from jake and friends jake nick and these other fellas that i don't know oh there's lots of nicks are you, are you jake as well no oh, it's disappointing this is uh nick's fox body mustang it's got a three rz in it which is an interesting choice i'm not going to judge him it's fairly fast how fast is it mate Went 515 at 134 to the 8th. Haven't taken out the quarter under power just yet. Is that going to happen today? We're hoping for low today. Nice, nice. And this used to be fitted to a IS200? Yes. Yes. So you're going for the lighter body. Proven performer on the track, these Fox bodies. Don't know why. Don't know why, they just work. Yeah, plus it's light. Well, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it out there, mate. This is our mate Waz. He lives down the road from me. He's got his freshly purchased uh, FG Falcon drag car here. Had a little bit of bad luck yesterday, was. Yeah, we popped a uh, gearbox yesterday, so um, just got the new one in now. Just uh, running it up, getting the oil sorted, and uh, back some shoots, and we'll be out shortly. Very good. Luckily, someone oiled down the lane, so there's a big lineup. So it was going to be able to get out there for J275 and, and try and give this a good run. Um, the whole place smells like burnt tractor fluid. If you know anything about automatic transmissions, you'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, the boys have really hooked in and transmission out, new one in, and they're just fiddling around with it now. The faces behind <laughs> the freshly purchased race car. How are you, Coffee? Good, mate, yourself. What's going on? Woody? What's going on, man? You mate, look... I didn't sign up for this stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is my... Hey, uh, when I bring Kevin to the track, can you be my pit crew? I think you've got a spare gearbox here at the track. <laughs>
Who's this handsome bastard up from Melbourne? What are you doing here? I got lost. Yeah? You got a t-shirt on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to come and see you guys. Yeah, very good. You reckon this thing's going out there? It looks like the boys have worked really hard getting a transmission in it after the uh, little accident yesterday. Um, so we'll find out. The ratios are not the same. It went from a two-speed yesterday to a three-speed today. So we're just going to have to try and look at some data that we've got from previous barriers with three speeds and then try and put something together. Very good. And this is a, this engine's built by you, Frank, yes? Yes, yes. Originally it was built by someone else and then I had Corey Jackson who purchased the car and the engine, gave it to me. We made some changes. We put the engine on the dyno. Um, we did a, a video on, with full boost on the dyno and um, it made 1800 and here it is. You now it's in the car. 1800, wow. That's like the flywheel, not yeah. the back wheels. No. Oh, oh, that's no good then. <laughs> no, right? All right, you can probably check that video out on Full Boost, maybe. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. We're here with a Skid Factory fellow, with Ashley. How are you going, mate? Yeah, good. good. Uh, this is an S12 Gazelle. It's Australian delivered, so it's a Gazelle, not a uh, Sylvia. Uh, and it's got a SR20 VE in it, is that right? Yeah, yep. Built by the man. Um, Fairly stock top end, got cams, springs, that's about it, and a lot of boost. What sort of power does it make? Uh, dyno to 500 on low boost, we don't know what it's got now. Okay, very good. And um, manual transmission, you're doing it hard out there on the drag strip. I know manuals are great for some forms of motorsport, but drag racing's probably not one of them. You doing the hard yards? Yeah, yeah, it's hard to get consistent, um, and yeah, I keep easy to miss shift, easy to break stuff, so easy to blow diffs in it. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like fun. What sort of diff you got in there? Is it a, a Nissan diff still? That... Yeah, still H190. Um, yeah, stock H190. We're building a 9-inch for it now because I can't get diffs in it. It keeps breaking pinions and axles. Oh, no. The old story. Very good. All right, we'll keep an eye on you out there, mate. Good luck. No worries. Thanks, mate. As I talked about earlier, that this uh, event originated as a VW club event where um, all these Beatles and even combis and stuff would come out here and race. So we thought we'd check out one of these OG vehicles. And uh, what have we got here, mate? It doesn't look like a stock Beetle at all. Uh, no, it's not. Um, there's still some VW parts there, but almost everything I've either made myself or bought aftermarket versions. So this is normally aspirated. It's just over three litre. Makes over 300 horsepower and uh, runs 1060s. Three litre four cylinder, and it looks like it's running on methanol via some very home machined uh, yeah, throttles. The throttle bodies are made out of a solid billet. So I've made the throttle bodies from scratch. Uh, the crankshaft, the camshaft, the flywheel, the barrels are all made out of solid, and it runs old school mechanical injection. So there's a constant flow pump, just pumping straight methanol in uh, very basic setup but uh, quite tunable easy to tune yeah I've had this car for 32 years I was at the first jam brewery with it um, and uh, yeah supercharged back then oh, okay but, uh, yeah. so with VW stuff the elephant in, in the room is the transmission how do you keep that thing in there okay so the gearbox um, is combi gearbox it's got all aftermarket gears from uh, Albans down in uh, Ballarat yeah, the transmission sort of la a little lasts me a year of racing. Um, I try and pull everything out, crack test it uh, as often as I can. Um, but yeah, it's definitely the Achilles heel of the poor VW, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Now, that's very impressive for, I mean, it's a quick car and also you putting all that work into the, you're obviously a machinist or something by trade, are you? Yeah, that's yeah. a trade, it's fitting and turning. Yeah, so. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, well done. Very cool. Thanks, mate. No worries, thank you. We've just run into legendary pro stock racer, Dave. <laughs> I've been trying. I've been trying to hide, mate. And converter specialist. And Convert, and converter, converter specialist as well. Had, time. had no problems at all with that converter since we've cut that open and no, put shit way. everywhere and welded it up. Yeah, Very I good. Should, I should have charged more money. See, so how come you didn't bring any pro stocks with you? No, mate, they wouldn't come. Well, who wouldn't come? Too much zinging. And There's too many rotaries here. He doesn't too, like it. Too many Very, rotaries. Too much zinging and buzzing going on. You know, not enough real. Too much whooshing. Yeah, that's it. Not enough real horsepower. That's what it is, yeah. We'll have yeah. to get some EFI onto that, uh, that Camaro. Mate, it's, as I said, next week, I think I've got it booked in. to get. Oh, you can't do it next week. We're not here. Oh, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> i got nothing to say about that. This is drag racing. You've got to get used to disappointment, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Jamboree also features a pretty big traders section, which we're in at the moment. Uh, we got Raceworks down there. We've got Gavs Hacko at the stand there, along with a really nice uh, Datsun 1200 Ute. Uh, I think Robbie Moundfield owns that. So real good stand there for Raceworks. And we've also got Haltech here, of course. Let's go and have a chat with the boys. What can you tell me about Haltech products, Matt? It's the best. <laughs> there you have it. That's the scoop. <laughs> Over here at the end of the Traders Alley, we've got Golby's Parts Stand, and they've got some really nice JDM uh, Toyotas on display here. We've got a, a JZX100, which is a crowd favourite with the young fellas. A uh, JZX110, I think that is. So, just one JZ loving in there. And probably the most interesting one for us is this JZX105. This is an oil drive car that they have um, done the usual Golby stuff too. We've got turbo kit, intercooler manifold, all the stuff. There's a big list of it over here. Pretty unique car. And uh, I'm guessing that they're gonna use this for maybe some sort of roll racing or or uh, no prep stuff being all wheel drive. But yeah, pretty cool car. We're here at the Golby stand. This is the boss, Daniel. Uh, How you going? Good, thanks. How are you? So what's happening at Golby's lately? You got anything new on the horizon or out yeah, now? Yeah, we do. Uh, obviously we got the A90 kit, um, super kit out, um, but we've got a few other platforms that we're working on that, uh, throughout the back end of this year we'll be releasing. So you gotta keep up keep up to date with the Golby site so you know what's happening by the sound of it. There are some pretty wild and really fast cars here at Jamboree. That's what it's all about. And this is one of them. We we noticed this before. It's a, a Mustang Pro Mod, yes. No, uh, steel roof and port still. Steel roof, I guess that's not a prime one. There you go. Uh, this is the owner, Steve. Steve. There you go. Yeah, mate. Good. So tell us all about it, Steve. What, what do we got? What are we running? It's a 67 Mustang with a twin turbo Proline 481X. Um, Mark Mickey m, &M two speed. Um, full race converter. Um, yeah, on radials. Motor, so. Very nice. So they 315? Yeah, 315 radial. Cool. And what size turbos you got there? Uh, 104 Precisions. Oh, 104 millimeters. That's big. Very nice, mate. It, uh, it sounds like it's going well on the track. Yeah, so good luck for the weekend. Awesome, thank you. Just pulled up here at, uh, with Disco Dean. He's got uh, the House of Barra, I would have I would have called it. He's, he bought his work here just in case <laughs> he's got to nip down the shops for some spark plugs. What, what's uh, what's going on with this? Is, is this a competitor to uh, Jesus's Honda? <laughs> no, I think Jesus's Honda has us on turbo size for sure. For sure. Nah, just simple. Barra powered, uh, Pro Boost 42, Glide 9 inch, E85, pretty simple setup, just keep it reliable, cheap, that's the idea. And how quick are we talking here, mate? So, 870s today, but we're losing boosts, so we don't know why, so we need to track that, but we, we want to run consistent 850s, 840s, that was the plan, but 870s will do. That sounds pretty good to me, I'd love to be able to run consistent 870s. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the bug? Have you got uh, the drag racing bug yet? We do, yes, Good. we do, yes. That's what <laughs> we want to hear. That's why we're here. You know what we need? We need motivation to finish Kevo off. Uh, unfortunately, he's got no bar in him, so uh, we're going right. to have to... That's all okay. I'll, I'll let you go with a 2J. 2J is acceptable. Yeah, that's, that's you good. heard it here first from yeah. Disco Dean. Yeah. Yeah. As Golbys is involved, you know what I mean? We get Golbys on there. That's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Thanks keep, for chatting to us, mate. <laughs> and good luck for the weekend. Thanks, boys. Cheers. Appreciate it. You've got number plates of the GOAT. You're obviously packing something pretty cool. And this certainly is. It's a uh, four rotor engine with twin turbos, one on either side. It's quite confusing to the eye at, when you first have a look at it. But uh, once you figure out how that piping works, it's actually pretty cool. Just to add to the confusion right next to it, we've got an R34 GDR that's got a pair of turbos and they're in compound, which is pretty cool. They're obviously looking for some serious boost levels. I don't reckon they're gonna be disappointed. And to top it all off, we got this nice old Torrey with what looks like a very large V8 with very large turbos on it. Our final stop for the day is the Garrett Motion Stand. We got some beautiful, massive turbochargers behind us, which everybody loves. Garrett Motion is a major sponsor of the event and has been for seven or eight years now, supporting uh, local drag racing, which is great. You may have noticed that we haven't actually uh, filmed much of the drag racing today and the, the reason for that is that overtaking lane is here doing a live stream so all the racing will be up on their channel on youtube for 
I don't know, eternity. So you can check it out there. And it's going to be a much better coverage than we could ever offer with multi cameras and start line access. Their coverage is going to be mint. So check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. That was loud. You got any more of that chicken? Um, come to Jamboree. Buy some chicken. You and my chicken. I like them chicken wings. I like big feet chicken. I'm going to give me crap about my third hoop welds, and it's definitely not up to FFM uh, standards. Have you lads got anything you'd like to say to our audience after the credits? Give me something. Yeah, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Any messages for friends? Hey, yeah. just have a bloody good day. Hey? Just have a good day. Alright. <laughs> Have you got any messages for friends on online, Richard? I don't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> Go again. Give me some tests. Say that again. Here we've got uh, Mexican Mark, uh, the uh, the real Mark transmission builder. What do you think, Mark? He's not keen. <laughs> what, what, what happened? Uh, I just want to. Just want to. Oh, I won't go there actually. <laughs>